Alright, so in this video, we will see how to install a Bluetooth module on the FlySky i6 X Radio transmitter. And the reason why you would want to do that is let's say if you want to transmit the telemetry data from the radio to your cell phone or a computer device, and then if you want to track or log the telemetry data, then with the help of the Bluetooth module, we can achieve that. And that's exactly what we will take a look at in this video. So obviously you will need a Bluetooth module. So here I have the HC05 Bluetooth module. So the one that I have has six pins on it and it also has a button and this can be configured as a master or a slave module. But for this application, we only need a slave Bluetooth module. Now, although there are a lot of options when it comes to buying a Bluetooth module, I would strongly suggest that you buy the HC05 Bluetooth module because previously I had bought a HC08 which had the Bluetooth low energy 4.0 protocol on it. And I couldn't pair it with my computer or mobile device. And I tried to change a lot of settings on the module, but I couldn't get it to connect with my cell phone or computer. And then I bought the HC05 later on. And Janek from Poland, who has implemented the Express LRS on this radio transmitter, actually used the exact same Bluetooth module and then I decided to buy the HC05 and I've had no problems with this. In fact, as soon as I got this, I was able to pair this up with my computer and cell phone. And there are a few settings on the Bluetooth module that we have to change using the AT commands. And that's something that we will take a look at in the later half. So first, let's take a look at how to wire the Bluetooth module to the radio transmitter. So remove all the four screws on the back side. So here I've already soldered the wires for the Bluetooth module. So in between the SWDIO and the PC9 connection, we have a PA9 pad and that's basically the TX connection, which is configured in such a way that the telemetry data can be sent through the PA9 pad and it'll be sent to the Bluetooth module. And then to power the Bluetooth module, I'm using the 3.3 volt connection that's on this side and then a ground pad, which is over here. And you can see that I've used some servo wires to connect it to the Bluetooth module. So on the back side, you can see that we have a RX connection then we have the TX connection followed by ground and VCC. So make sure that you carefully connect the ground and power to the Bluetooth module. You don't want to reverse this and blow up the Bluetooth module. And the wire from the PA9 pad will be connected to the RX pin on the Bluetooth module. So the telemetry data is sent through this connection, which will be received by the Bluetooth module and then sent to our computer or mobile device. So this is how you wire up the Bluetooth module to the radio transmitter. Let's take a look at how to configure the Bluetooth module using the AT commands. So in order to make changes on the Bluetooth module, we will have to connect this to the computer. And to do that, I'll be using this FTDI adapter. And this is how you wire up the FTDI adapter to the Bluetooth module. So the ground from the FTDI adapter will be connected to the ground of the Bluetooth module. And that's quite straightforward actually. VCC will be connected to the VCC pad or the pin. So the RX of the FTDI will be connected to the TX of the Bluetooth module and the TX from the FTDI will be connected to the RX. And now I'll connect the USB cable to my computer. And you can see that the Bluetooth module is powered up. Now for the HC05 module to enter the AT command mode, we have to hold the button on it and then power it up or connect the USB cable. So I'll hold the button and then connect the USB cable. So that way the light is blinking at an interval of two seconds. And that indicates that the Bluetooth module is in the AT command mode and then we can configure the settings. Now first we will go to device manager and in the ports tab 
you should see a USB serial port device and the COM number. If I double click on this or right click and select properties under the ports setting you should see the bits per second option. For the HC05 module the default baud rate is 38400. If you have any other Bluetooth module then you'll have to set the default baud rate that's specified in the manual or from the manufacturer. So the bits per second is the only option that you have to make sure is set to the right number and then click on OK. Now to use AT commands, you will have to use a serial communication software. So I'm using this serial communicator and the link for the software is in the description. So you can download this and install it. So here you can see that in the ports tab, COM12 is already highlighted and selected because that's the only COM port I have on the device as of now. Beside that, we have the baud rate. I'll set this to 38400. So all the settings over here have to match what we have in the device manager for the Bluetooth module. And then I'll click on open. And at the bottom left, you can see connected to COM port 12. And make sure that you enable this TX print option so that you can see all the commands that we type in this black window. And then for the HC05 module, I have to set this option to CR slash LF. And after that, I'll click on this command line and then type in AT in capital letters. Make sure to use capital letters whenever you are using AT commands. And then hit enter or click on send. And you should see the OK message displayed over here. So that indicates that the AT commands are functional. Now, by default, the baud rate is set to 38,400. We will increase that to 115,200. And if you want, you can also change the device name and password. So first, let's see the default baud rate. And the command for that is AT plus UART and then question mark. So this is the default baud rate that is set on the Bluetooth module. So I'll type in AT plus UART equals to 115,200 followed by comma zero and then a comma again and a zero and then click on send. So the baud rate has been changed to 115,200. Now I'll rename the Bluetooth module to something else. So I'll type in AT plus name equals to uh, let's say fly sky. So FS I6X. So now the Bluetooth module is renamed as FlySky FSI6X. Now the default password is usually 1234 or four zeros. If you want to change that, you can type in AT plus PSWD equals to, uh, let's say, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I've set the password for the Bluetooth module as one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can set it to whatever you want. And the last thing to make sure is that the Bluetooth module is in the slave mode because we want to send the telemetry data to the Bluetooth module and then receive it on our mobile device. So the Bluetooth device has to act as a slave module. By default, the Bluetooth module will be set as slave. But to check that, you can type in AT plus role and then question mark. And you can see that the role is set to zero. So zero indicates slave and number one indicates master. So for you, if this is number one, then you can uh, set it to slave by typing in AT plus role equals to zero. And once you see the OK message, it indicates that the role has been set to whatever input you give. Now these are the AT commands for the HC05 Bluetooth module. If you have any other Bluetooth module, the AT commands might differ. And these are the only settings that you would want to change. So once you're done, you can click on close and then disconnect the Bluetooth module.
So now that I've configured the settings, I'll connect this to the radio transmitter once again. And once again, I'm making sure that I've connected the ground and the power in the proper polarity. Otherwise, I could fry the Bluetooth module. And then the wire from the PA9 pad will be connected to the RX pin. So after setting up the Bluetooth module and connecting it to the radio transmitter, it's time to update the radio firmware because to use serial telemetry, there's an option in the radio settings that we have to uh, enable and that's introduced in a new firmware file. Now at the moment, I have the test version of the firmware file. So then to update the firmware, I'll connect the USB cable to the radio transmitter. And then hold the horizontal trims inwards and then power up the radio so that it's in the DFU mode. And then follow the basic steps required to update the firmware. So I'll launch STM32Q programmer. Click on connect. So once the radio is connected, I'll click on open file. Select the appropriate firmware file and then hit download. And then once the firmware is flashed on the radio, you can disconnect the USB cable and then power cycle the radio. And now let's navigate to the serial port settings. So hold the bind button to enter the radio setup and then go to the hardware page. And at the very bottom, you will see that where it says serial port, you can either set this to off if you don't want telemetry data to be sent to the Bluetooth module or set it to telemetry mirror. And then if you have an Android device or a tablet, you can install telemetry viewer from the Play Store. So I've already installed this on my mobile device. And now I'll pair the Bluetooth module in the Bluetooth settings. So I'll turn on Bluetooth and then Click on pair new device. And you can see FlySky FSI 6X is detected. And that's the 8C05 module which I renamed using the 80 commands. And then I'll type in the password. And then once the Bluetooth module is paired to the device, the LED on the module will blink after every two seconds or so. And then make sure that you have connected your Express LRS transmitter module. And I've powered up the cord. So once the transmitter is bound to the receiver and you have the telemetry set up, if you go to the telemetry page and you have all the sensors discovered, and also making sure that in the Express LRS uh, settings, you have turned on the telemetry ratio and then now if I launch telemetry viewer and then click on connect I'll have to set a folder to save the log file so I'll just select any folder So I'll click on connect and here I'll select uh, Bluetooth Classic. So I'll select that. So here you can see the RSSI value followed by your altitude and your distance, speed and satellites. And on the top we have the battery voltage followed by the capacity. Now I don't have a current sensor on my quad so I don't have the data for that. And then if you want to make a few changes in the app, you can click on the settings icon and then enable the telemetry logging option and then set the directory for the log files. In the sensor display settings, you can 
change the placement of the various sensors so if you want you can have a few sensors displayed on the top or the bottom so this is how you set up a bluetooth module on the flysky i6 x radio transmitter and then use it to send the telemetry data to your mobile device now i'll be using this more often uh, when i'm flying long range so when i'll be testing the helical antennas in my next flight i will make sure to use this and then keep it handy if i ever have to use the telemetry lock if you have any other questions you can comment them below and if you found this video helpful you can like it and subscribe to my channel and thanks to janek from poland who has uh, added this serial port option for the telemetry mirror let me know in the comments what do you think of this feature and if you would try this out and thanks a lot for watching and lastly i'll cover the module with a heat shrink and then place it somewhere over here now actually the module that i have is already covered in a heat shrink but the connections on the bottom are exposed so that's why i'm covering up the module with a heat shrink like this If you want, you can secure the module with some hot glue. So I'm going to leave this uh, over here. And then obviously install the four screws on the back.